Hi guys and welcome to Anime Raza the vlog. So uh, one of my mates today, uh, ten questions the women want answered videos over at Just Even. Um, what I would like is to go one better than him. Let's do twenty. Shall we? Let's begin. Why are guys obsessed with boobs? Guys aren't obsessed with boobs. Boobs are obsessed with guys. Nah, just kidding. Uh, me personally, I would say that I'm not obsessed with boobs. Depends on the person, really. Uh, so it's mainly due to the fact that um, boobs have actually been hypersexualized in recent years so let's put it down to that <sighs> hypersexualization of boobs what do you think of all those selfies girls post on social media I believe that uh, selfies a good selfie is always good but people put so many on social medias it's hard to understand why they're either surveying or ridiculously stupid so out of everything I would probably say I hate them because they're vain they show vanity what do you really want to do on a date For a day, I would love, and I mean, I would love just to go for a nice long walk down a nice sunny promenade on an evening, a nice beautiful evening, and just talk. That would be my perfect date. Can't say the same for you guys, for all men, but me personally, I would love to go on a nice quiet date taking a walk down a prom so if you want to say that's cheesy it's up to you but me personally I, I, I that's what I want to do what are your thoughts on PDA what the fuck is PDA um makeup answer here I think it's pretty damn fine no, no well, pretty damn fan. Pretty damn attractive. What's so exciting about football? Football is there's the tricks of football. Um, it's the fact of this. It's so plainly simple, but yet so complex. Uh, that's what I find the fact that you've got so much about it's basically kicking on the basic size is basically trying to get a ball in a goal using your feet whereas the complicated side is the positions the you know the different angles the tactics you use that kind of thing so yeah it's simple but complicated at the same time what makes a girl dateable versus a fling? So what makes a girl dateable? Um, what makes a girl dateable is the fact that I have to be able to relate to them. Whereas a fling, they just have to be attractive. Um, in my opinion. You know, I'd rather date someone relatable and fuck someone really good looking so and the fact of the level of trust um, if you don't trust someone why would you be in a relationship with them so either either can a guy and a girl be friends 
Yes, yes they can. <laughs> Me and one of my best friends are friend well me and my best friend I'm male well I goddamn hope I am and uh, she's female so yeah why not yeah okay feelings might develop at some point blah 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 but you can be just friends during that stage it's not that difficult moving swiftly on do you judge a girl by their job? Nope. Unless they're a hooker. Hooker and blackjack. If they're a hooker, then I will judge them. I don't know where they've been. But, um... I would say, yeah. I would say no. Um, okay, if a woman has no ambition to go any further in life... That's a bit disappointing, you know. Where's the get up and go? Um, yeah. Why? 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 Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, next question. What do you do with your mates? Nothing, because I. A loner. No, what I do with my mates is just sit, chill, drink occasionally. Nothing major, but nothing too quiet. We talk about women, of course, you know, typical manly banter. But uh, apart from that, we just sit, chill, and drink. It's nothing big about that is there so uh, does sex on a first date mean she is not girlfriend material truthfully no it doesn't um, sex on a first date yeah okay in a lot of people's eyes it means but no um, in my eyes personally I would say that um, being Having sex on your first date would make you more of a girlfriend, more girlfriend material. You're not. Yeah, okay, relationships not about sex, but it's the fact of you're not arguing about it. It's the fact that you're willing to let you trust each other so quickly. So. Well, that's my opinion anyway. Why do men disappear when we aren't interested? Because why would we go through the whole, oh no, it's me, not you speech when, yeah, we're not interested, but <sighs> there's the whole point of having a long talk, you moaning. <sighs> we'd rather have less of the hassle um, yeah there's less hassle that way just just, just float away into the blackness whilst you mope around about us yeah it's simple we don't get the full bitch out of you so that's by the way that's not being me being sexist that's just my opinion and me getting wound up about my own opinion how hard do you stalk a woman on social media? Truthfully, not many. And not very hard, I mean, sorry. Um, I'd say less than 20 minutes. I get really bored of finding someone. Uh, what? What's the point? <laughs> There's, there is no point um, in, there completely and utterly is no point in doing it so what celebrities do I think are hot 
I honestly don't think there are that many rigidly hot celebrities. Um, that's just my opinion. Most of them are fake anyway, so why when, you know, natural beauties all the way? You know, no makeup or minimal makeup is preferred, so yeah, none. What's the sexiest thing a girl has done for me? Hmm. <clears throat> That's hard. I've never had anything s sexy done for me, but um, I tell you what, romantically, uh, the most romantic thing a woman has ever done for me has been turned up at my doorstep when I have been ill. Um, you know, just turning up when a man, man's ill is so, so nice. Just have that, that feeling that someone loves you. What are my biggest turn-offs? My biggest turn-offs are burnt. A burping in front of me or into my face or eating with their mouth open it just oh, it grates me so much what are my biggest turn-ons my biggest turn-ons are ginger Irish accents scout accents and Scottish accents all are absolutely brilliant in all sorts the Irish accent so fluent and flowing and ginger hair just gingers uh, just gingers are awesome um what else Scottish accents gruff mean but slight I don't know with the and Scouse accents are just... Oh. When do you tell a girl you love them? You tell a girl you love... I, I, I tell a girl I love them when I actually do love them. Um, I, I ain't gonna lie, you know. I'd rather say, oh, I like you. I-L-Y to me is I like you, not I love you. Um, it's one of those, why would you spoil something? Why would you do something so stupid? Like to say I love you too early. It would, um, yeah, it's one of those, you never tell a girl you love them before you're ready to, ever. What are my thoughts on padded bras? Padded bras are like lies. They make boobs look bigger and now that it's like lying to a man. You don't, just, just don't. Padded bras just it's like lying and I don't like lying where do men go for relationship advice men go to their parents or someone they trust to talk about sex advice um, or relationship advice it's I don't know it's one of those I depend on the situation I go to my mum if it's something you know simple or I go to my dad if it's really really complicated so I can't really say much else than that how long should you be dating for 
before having sex. Okay, so final question. How long should a couple be dating before having sex? <clears throat> I'd say at least a month, month and a half. Two, if you can hold it off that long. Um, that's the best I can say for that question. Um, but uh, for now, anyway, now that I've answered 20 of your questions, women and ladies, I must farewell, bid you farewell. So remember, guys, stay awesome. <laughs>